Remember that time you were just walking along and you thought, I wonder what it's like to vacation in Ontario. Well, guess what? You're in luck, because I'm going to show you right now. Come on, let's go. Also, how to get engaged. So before you head out on your vacation, you should really just sort of double check your, your safety strap, you know. You got lots of other straps, but that's just another one. Uh, it also lets you know if your canoe's missing, you know, when you're out on the road and that strap's gone, well, the canoe's probably gone too. We got like a cool thing to take up and experiment with. And of course, I found this uh, super, must be super fast dinghy on Marketplace because it's got flames. And I'll explain this thing here uh, a little later. We'll go and use that when we get there. Yeah, anyways, I think it's time to go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nothing to see here, that looks fine. <laughs> now we all know loading the toys is the most important thing, but try not to forget some of the less important stuff like I did. Alright, you know how you're all revved up, trucks running, you're all packed up, ready to go, you just want to hit the road, you want to go. And then this happens. <laughs> One more puff. Oh. <laughs> and I'm leaving. So I made my way on down the highway. It wasn't long before I had to make my first gas stop. And uh, that's when some emotions kind of kicked in. I probably should have waited a couple more minutes at home for my lady. So I thought, you know, I'm only like an hour down the road. I'll just scooch on back and pick her up and everything will be great. All right. She hopped in the truck. Everyone's in a good mood. And we started all over again, heading on down the road. Until we got to famous Weber's Burgers, where I've never yielded so much in my life. I mean, I was yielding like a mother. So we got herded through there like cattle and uh, grabbed our order and headed out back. Here we choked down our, not as good as I remember as a kid, burgers. Well, now I had a new problem. You know how you walk out in the parking lot these days and every car looks the same? So I'm wandering around aimlessly. I couldn't find my vehicle. And then Kitten called over. She found the truck, so we got in and left. <laughs>
All right, we made it. This is awesome. The little cabin. Time to start unloading. That's why you have multiple rows of tires so when the ramps slide you're still good all right well kitten here got the cabin in order i decided to go for a little cruise around and see how this trailer thing will work out for me so i found this thing on marketplace and i thought i can probably come up with some things to do with that <laughs> i added the uh the wooden floor in it so what it is is just a the bottom part of an eight wheel argo so obviously the drivetrain's been ripped out of it. The frame's still in it, and uh, the front two and the rear two wheels and axles were removed and plugged. Then an extended hitch is just shoved into the trailer hitch receiver of the Argo, and it's got a swivel on one end. So I said, I bet you I can make some kind of like a boat out of this thing. Um, I was a little nervous about whether it would be tippy or not, so I added these these boat bumpers on four corners. I just want to give it a whirl and see what I can do with it. So here we go. And the result is perfect. It tows perfect. The sun was dropping like a rock, so we didn't have time to test float the creation. So we thought we'd throw a couple poles in the canoe and go for a little rip before the sun goes down. So as you can see, we don't fool around with cheap fishing equipment. We, uh, we get the best stuff available. In this case, the Pompeo Pocket Fisherman from the 70s. I'm sure you'll remember that. Widely recognized as the superior fishing gear in the market at Walmart. So for fighting this, I think, world record bass for hours, uh, I was able to get it into the boat and uh, I decided that um, we should set it free. It might get even bigger, possibly, um, if we come back next year. I can maybe just catch it again. Well, not to be outdone, uh, Kitten here decides to show me how it's done. Got a decent sized pike on and, uh, you know, being the professional fisherman that I am, you'll see I'm wearing the proper a tire to control the uh, the wriggling pike so I got my um, steel toe flip-flops on there and uh, you know you got to be safe around these sharp hooks and and you know the razor sharp teeth of the pike so of course there was no injuries All right, it's the next morning. Let's go see if this trailer thing will float.
So I'm just out busying myself with, you know, common items that most Ontario people own. When suddenly I'm swarmed by a, a bunch of pretty dangerous looking um, kids there, it's obvious that they're planning an attack on me. I mean, what else would they be doing coming over here and uh, ob observing what I'm up to? I was terrified, as anybody would be. So I figured my best course of action would be to, you know, run away, right? But oops, I kind of steered in the wrong direction and ended up right over by the scary group of um, children. Well, and then it stalled right there. So there I was outnumbered, you know, just me against, I don't know, four or five of them. And then you can see here one launched an attack. So I thought quick and uh, pretended I was like a monster or something to scare them away. And that bought me some time, but eventually they launched a full-on assault. So I turned and ran away. Luckily, you know, being children, they were distracted by a canoe and I was able to get away. Gotcha. So we dodged a bullet this time, but I just have a feeling they're going to be back to try to sabotage our vacation. Have a seat. Barely. Alright, the next day it was way colder, but that wasn't going to stop us from getting out on the water and going exploring.
Okay, we decided to hop out and go explore the woods a little bit here. Might even pull out the iPhone for this one. The race is to get your fucking feet as soon as possible. Uh, Nicely done. He was right about now that it finally dawned on me. <laughs> this thing looks ridiculous. So we were enjoying some quiet time at the dock here, and guess who shows up? You know it. And there's more of them this time, and they look even angrier and dangerouslier. Luckily, we were able to floor it and get out of there just in time. Then we rolled up to this little deserted island we found and promptly claimed it as our own. Oh, hi! <laughs> we claim this island, Ontario Tube Island. So there we were, enjoying the splendor of the day on on the island we stole, and guess who? Who'd have thought they'd compile a navy in their efforts to destroy us? <laughs> <laughs> nice. So now we're all miserable, but we are gonna make the best of it. We were really gonna try to enjoy this tranquil day.
<laughs> a little bit refreshing. I can't believe how warm it is. I thought it'd be colder. Right. So then they apparently radioed ahead to their air force and figured they'd uh, come by and uh, try to mess up our day. After being harassed relentlessly, we decided to head back to the cabin and get something to eat. Let's not get all bogged down on whose fault it might be for running out of gas here. Oops, there's a little dribble on this side. Why can't I get that in on the other side? It just won't. You know, we have two paddles. Definitely took on a lot of water. Too bad the pump wasn't working, but it is now.
Meanwhile, there's a text conversation going on over here with her sister-in-law, and and she's saying, oh, maybe he's going to propose this week. Yeah, it'll be a perfect place and a perfect time. Sure. So she mentioned it to me, and I chuckled. I said, oh, come on, really? I mean, I'm only 58 years old. I'm not quite ready to settle down yet. Give me some time. Be patient. Well, apparently that wasn't really the right response, and she went in and was sad while I entertain myself with the chipmunks. So we ended up calling this thing, you know, a catchy little name. Uh, we called it the Situation Creation Sensation. That name just kind of flows off the tongue there, doesn't it? These two almost had me out flanked, but I was able to escape. Well, yeah, and if you're wondering why that little blue rowboat didn't make this movie, well, it kind of did just a little bit here, but it was an awful experience in that little thing out on the water. So as soon as we got home, it was sold. Off it goes. That's the end of that. All right, we're all packed up, and uh, there's only one thing left to do, and nothing like leaving it to the last minute. I think I came up with a pretty good idea to make it a surprise. I told her that I'm just filming a bunch of stuff here just to upload a couple of little uh, movies on YouTube. But uh, I want to get a few pictures of us, you know, sort of going away pictures, just little thumbnail kind of things. And uh, she had no idea what the purpose of all these cameras at this particular time was all about. She figured, wow, he's got a lot of things set up just for a couple of going away pictures. But hey, that's what he does. All right, it is time. Within seconds, I'm pulling this ring out. It's go time. <laughs> and what does she do? She wanders off to play with the kids to pick up pine cones and throw them. Okay, I almost panicked and aborted the whole operation, but uh, no, I, I'm back on track. Let's go. Let's say, from Ontario, cheers. Perfect. Time to propose. Whoops! Abort! Abort! Okay, go for it. It was at this moment I realized I had no idea what I was going to say. So I blurted out the only two words that came to my mind.
did you find that? You don't really think they came up here without good intentions, do you? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Stop for sure you knew. No. Is it a yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. All right, back to throwing pine cones at the kids. Are you and uh, maybe should have mentioned why all the tears. This, this poor kid's probably wondering, why is that lady crying? <laughs> so we filled our faces with an awesome pizza from the lodge and hit the road for an exciting six hour drive home and was thrilled to see the awesome concrete pad that was poured while we were gone. All right, so that's it for part one. Check into part two. Hop that up pretty soon, I'm sure. Uh, everything worked out great. Went ahead and got married. Around the same time, I surpassed my 1,000 subscriber mark. That's a milestone. Never thought that would happen. Thank you all for helping me with that. And I turned 60. <laughs> everything happened all at one time. So lots of good stuff. So watch part two. We head back up north. We're not taking all the stuff this time. Taking one decent boat. We pick something up up there when we're there. And uh, yeah, come along for the second part of this journey if you like the first part. So tuning out for now from Ontario. Cheers. <laughs>